I really like freestyling with complete anatomy and I encourage my students to do this too. This is like sitting in the dissection room and just being able to look at the body, to move things around, to really understand the relationships of different structures one to another. That's something that takes a long time to build up in anatomy because of course this is a three-dimensional jigsaw. Being able to strip away each of the body systems, put them back in, see how they relate to bones, see how they relate to other muscles, for instance. So we've seen the nerves, now we're seeing the respiratory system. And if something's a bit obscured, then you can make it easier to see it. I'm going to pick off the sternum there so we can get a better view of the lungs inside the chest cavity. Every time you click on an individual structure, it gives you the option of isolating it and looking at it on its own, and then you can manipulate it. And this is just fantastic because this really gives you a 3D appreciation of that bit of anatomy, in this case, the temporal bone. We can put it back in the skull so we can see nicely how it fits there. And we can also ask Complete Anatomy to show us the various parts of the temporal bone. So you can see there that the squamous part is lit up in one colour, the petrous in another colour, the mastoid process in another colour again. This is one of my favourite tricks on complete anatomy, the explosion of the skull. So we just isolate the skull itself using the marquee tool so you can easily make multiple selections with that marquee tool and then explode the skull out and again we can turn it all around so now those bones are separated out from each other but we can see how they'll fit back together and we can still click on individual bones and pull up all the information. Mm -hmm.